Hey, what's going on guys? We flatten here with a brand new video today. Today we're going to be talking about the Larokin fight. Now I know it's not actually going to be a visual fight because Larokin is already dead. I wasn't going to originally do a video on Larokin because he doesn't have a legendary action. I honestly thought he was going to get a unique legendary action. But as you can see in his description, he does not have a legendary action at all. He just has uh, his normal fight basically. His fight is going to be him along with his robot Crank. He's probably going to have either uh, Roland with him or uh, just a level 1 uh, dude that he was going to shoot an apple off the top of his head with like 10 HP. But uh, he also has all of his elementalists as well. Now Larokin um, gets different unique passives when he has those, um, uh, when he has those elementals alive. Uh, including granting uh, immunity to whatever the element is that is alive. I found that out the hard way when I casted uh, Scorching Ray when the Fire One was still alive. He was just immune to that damage. So first things first with Laroican, Silence is a very good spell to have against him because he's a caster. Um, forcing him out of the Silence Bubble could uh, save you a turn if you need to. Number two is whoever is your damage rider, eliminate that elementalist as quickly as you possibly can because you want to be able to have your main damage rider uh, completely annihilate Laroque. And uh, if you don't have an elemental damage rider, as in someone who does a lot of damage with elementals, you could just base uh, tank Laroque in with your melee classes, like a bard, a paladin, a monk are all really, really good. Fighters, barbarians, going up close and personal to Laroque can just disrupt what he, uh, he is doing because you threaten him, which uh, gives him a little bit of disadvantage on his spells. Also a decent strategy. Um, the one that I found the most helpful, though, during this fight is because he has, like, four allies with him that are the uh, elementalists. And also he has a couple of other allies with him as well, along with him. Um, and you get Dame Malin, but she's hit or miss, honestly, with uh, what uh, she ends up doing and who she hits. The thing that helped me out the most was a level 6 spell slot, so I recommend doing this at level 10 so that you can unlock this. My dedicated cleric ended up picking Planar Ally. Planar Ally was able to uh, get me a summon of... A Jin, a Deva, or a Cambion. The Jin can actually push the Elementalist off you, but there's one other that's actually really solid as well. Um, I used. I took it off for now because I only used it for this fight, but it was called. Uh, Planar Binding. Target an otherworldly creature and attach its consciousness to your own. It will follow and fight for you as an ally. You can actually target Larokin's Elementalist, and if successful, you can have one of his Elementalists fight for you so that you can uh, turn the battle a little bit. It'll last for 10 turns. If you hit, it is a Wisdom save, so check the Wisdom of uh, all the Elementalists and pick the one that's suitable. Um, it's about a 75% chance to hit if your Wisdom is fairly high. Uh, my Shadow Heart is uh, an 18 Wisdom, but... Um, yeah, if you're able to get one of them as an ally along with the other uh, planar ally, if you have two level 6 spell slots, if you do this at level 11, for example, um, you are able to uh, have an ally with you, but also have uh, one of his elementalists go against him. So what I ended up doing was I allied one of those elementalists, I killed off everything else like normal, and then with it still allied with me, I attacked it right after. It started a new fight, which means new initiative. And then I was able to um, just kill it like normal and 5v1 it. It was pretty good. Uh, he wasn't that tough of a fight. Um, that's why I originally wasn't going to do this video. But uh, that's how we ended up killing him. My Jin is here. I also have the four ghouls as well if you do uh, the Necromancy of Thay. These things are pretty good sacrificial... Uh, army uh, members they also have uh, some pretty decent stuff on them um, I've noticed that whenever they died they got um, uh, a thing where they blew up and they did AoE damage around them so you can get some pretty good stuff with them too when uh, you send them in the middle of fights 
They're pretty good. Um, Devourer does a ton of damage for uh, only being 20 hit point level 6 creatures. But uh, yeah. Top 3. Base tank Laroque with your melee units if you uh, have any melee allies. Um, planar ally or planar binding. Both of those are really good spells. And uh, silence of course to move Laroque out of the way. The other good one is again uh, killing the elementalist that uh, your main damage rider does if you do elemental attacks. And uh, Laroquin should be a pretty e easy fight for you. Dame Aelin does uh, assist fairly decently if she can hit. If you have things like Bless, you can make her hits uh, a little bit easier to uh, swing in. Because when she does hit, she hits for a ton of damage. That's Laroquin fight in a nutshell. I uh, wish you the best of luck on it. I will see you guys in the next one. My name is Beefland. I'm signing on out of here. Take care all. Laters.